Hello. We're going to make a piece of balloon fabric in the shape of a star. Inflate the first red balloon leaving about 4 inch flat tail. We're going to twist a chain of 9 bubbles. Twist all bubbles of the same size uh, up to 3 inch. I want to use this sculpture as a hat. So the total size of this chain should be the size of the head of the person you're making the hat for. We can use the star shape to make um, flowers or sun. What it looks like depends on the colors we use. In the last couple uh, previously published instructions we use balloon fabric to make different sculptures. We twisted uh, bubbles of the same size to make the fabric. Today we are going to make a piece of fabric by increasing the size of bubbles in each row. We can use this technique to make all kinds of sculptures. Hats, skirts, dresses, vases, baskets and etc etc. Lock both ends of the chain of the first nine red bubbles in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the red balloon and tie off the end. We made the first row. It is the base of the hat. Make sure you made it of proper size. Use scissors to trim off the ends. Now we have to figure out the size of bubbles for the next each row. You can apply all your mass and geometry knowledge to make it perfect. I'll do it in uh, the not scientific way. Let's attach orange balloon between any two red bubbles. We twist all bubbles in the second the orange row of about um, two inch size. Twist the first orange bubble. Lock the nozzle of the third the yellow balloon with the free end of the first orange bubble. Please keep in mind that uh, I give you approximately estimated sizes of all bubbles in this instruction. The way I do it bubbles in uh, one row will have actually slightly different size. Twist the second orange bubble. Lock the free end of the second orange bubble between the next two red bubbles. We twist all bubbles in the third, the yellow row of about uh, four inch size. So now let's twist the chain of the first two yellow bubbles. Twist the third orange bubble. Lock the free end of the third orange bubble with the free end of the second yellow bubble. We have made pattern. We will follow it to make the sculpture. Twist the fourth orange bubble. Lock the free end of the fourth orange bubble between the next two red bubbles. Twist the chain of the next two yellow bubbles. It looks like I have to increase the size of the yellow bubbles a bit. I'll make it a quarter of inch longer. Twist the fifth orange bubble. Lock the free end of the fourth yellow bubble with the free end of the fifth orange bubble. Keep twisting and locking bubbles in the same fashion. Working all the way around the red balloon. Meantime I will try to explain not so scientific way to make the circle. Ok so uh, first of all we already made the first red circle. And now we are working to make the orange and the yellow circle. All three circles have one common point which is the center. We should be able to draw imaginary straight line through three points. The center of the circle, two red bubbles and two yellow bubbles above it. It's ok if the line is a little curved. Most important is to see sidewise that no bubbles fall on either side of the flat pan of the sculpture. If it happens then you have to adjust the size of the bubbles. Usually I just uh, adjust the size of the next bubbles I twist. I am not struggling to make a perfect uh, circle for simple reason. We are making a hat. It's supposed to have an oval shape. We all have slightly different forms and shapes. So take it easy. Alright? Also you should have no problem to fix this sculpture uh, in a less or more perfect shape uh, with some sticky tape. I mean if you intend to use this sculpture as a part of a decoration uh, attached to walls or some other flat surfaces. Just stretch the sculpture a bit to shape it and stick it with the tape. 
it would do the trick. Ok, let's get back to our sculpture. Here we got to the point where I ran out of uh, yellow balloon. So let's cut off the end of the yellow and the end of the orange balloon as well. You can do it with your hands or use scissors. Get new balloon of the same color and attach it to the same spot where we ended. Tie the ends in one knot. You can trim off the ends now or do it later. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the orange balloon. Cut off the end. Attach new orange balloon. Now we are going to follow with the same pattern as before. Twist a chain of the next two yellow bubbles. Twist the next orange bubble. Lock the free end of the last orange bubble with the free end of the last yellow bubble. Keep going in the same way all around the red balloon. We use here a very simple technique. I mentioned before. We can use it uh, to make very different sculptures. It's kind of popular in making uh, gowns, dresses. All those kind of things that you usually see at uh, fashion shows. It does take uh, a lot of balloons and most importantly time, hours of work to make a gown. It takes uh, a designer imagination to accomplish such work. Sooner than later you will want to try to design your own dress. Making this relatively small and simple sculpture is a good way to start to get your first hands on it. Of course uh, I'm going to post uh, more balloon twisting instructions in future. There are gonna be instructions for making dresses as well. And most certainly if you look around uh, your network uh, online uh, you will find uh, many photos, pictures from um, balloon fashion shows around the world. Amusing, beautiful works, full of inspiration. You should use those uh, as an example for your creative works. Ok, back to our sculpture. Cut off the rest of the orange balloon. We've made a total of 18 orange bubbles. Now I twist the chain of the last two yellow bubbles. Lock the free end of the last yellow bubble with the very first yellow bubble. Cut off the rest of the yellow balloon. Tie off the ends in one knot. Uh, we can use scissors to trim off the ends or just uh, hide them between uh, bubbles. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Congratulations, you have made the star, the sun, the flower. Well, maybe it's not perfectly flat pen, but it's good enough for our purpose. We can wear it as a hat basically in two different ways. Daniel is going to show it. Here it is on top of his head. Or you can wear it as a mask. Just fit your face inside of it. You may want to use the extra balloon to tie the mask on the back of the head. Ok, now I'm going to add a white row to the sculpture. We are doing the same thing. So this part of the video I play on a high speed. We twist all bubbles in the fourth, the white row. Uh, about 5 inch size. It would take 3 white balloons to make this row. Most certainly we can add many more rows to this sculpture as we want. If you decide to do so, remember to increase size of bubbles in each following row accordingly. If you want to keep the sculpture flat. It looks like I twist a bit large size bubbles for the white, the fourth row. I'm going to keep it this way. 
it will work well as a hat. And it works just super as an example. Now you can see what is not a flat pen. Look sideways on the star. Do you see how it's shaped? It has a wave shape now. Well, anyway, let's fix all bubbles in uh, proper positions. Congrats again, we have made the hat. And that's how it looks like when you are the big shiny star. Have fun and happy twisting.